With the new year, many are looking to change their habits. And TV6's Justin Vantov tells us how you can participate in dry January and how it can help improve your health. Dry January is a challenge where for the month of January, you don't consume any alcohol. Great Lakes Recovery Center's practitioner Alexandra Ellis says this month is important in raising awareness for sobriety. Being able to have this whole month dedicated to being sober, and I think that's a, an amazing thing. Ellis says being alcohol free can help change your mindset. Instead of looking at it as I'm avoiding alcohol, it's I'm building a healthier relationship to alcohol or maybe a healthier lifestyle. And statistics have uh, showed that 40% of our daily behaviors are related to habits. An addiction medicine physician with Aspires Houghton Clinic, Dr. Kirk Clemmy, says if you are going to drink, there is a healthy limit. For a woman are no more than three drinks in any one day and no more than seven drinks in a week. So you have to fulfill both criteria for, to, for uh, it to be considered safe drinking. For a man, it's no more than four drinks in any one day and no more than 14 drinks in a week. Clemmy says if you or a loved one is participating in dry January, to try and remove any additional stressors from your home, not cope with other substances, and if you're going to a party, to try alcohol alternatives like mocktails. Justin Van Hoff, TV6 News. Thank you, Justin.